Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy. I'm Claire and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team as the Parish Youth Minister in St Maximilian Colby Parish in Runcorn and St Philip Nero in Birkenhead. And it's great to be with you again this week, especially as we celebrate a great feast, but we'll come on to that in a second. Did you remember to say your prayers last week as we remember to ask God to keep us safe as we go through the world to proclaim his news and spread his news to others and the love he has for us? Let's begin today by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll light our candle to remind us that Jesus is with us and is the light of the world. So, I've already said today is a great feast and I'm going to say something which might sound a little bit strange, but happy birthday church! That's right, today is the church's birthday. It's the feast of Pentecost, which is why we've got our flames here and we'll be using flames for our activity later on. So Pentecost was the day that the Holy Spirit came to the disciples. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit so that they wouldn't be alone. We're going to hear our gospel now, read by Haley for us, and as we listen, we're going to listen for how the Holy Spirit appeared. So, as we get ready, let's make the sign of the cross on our heads as we think the words of God, on our lips as we speak the words, and on our hearts as we love the words of God. A reading from the gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Late in the evening, the disciples sat huddled together, feeling sad and afraid. The doors of the room were locked to stop the Jews from finding them. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the room with them and said, Peace be with you. They were amazed when they saw him and they could hardly believe their eyes. But Jesus showed them the wombs in his hands and where the sword had pierced his side. They were filled with joy and wonder. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. Just as my Father sent me, so I am sending your line. Then he breathed on them, saying, The Holy Spirit has been given to you. Whatever you choose to forgive will be forgiven. Whatever is not forgiven by you will remain unforgiven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, did you hear how the Holy Spirit appeared to the disciples as they were gathered together in the room? That's right, there was a sound of wind and the tongues of flames appeared above their heads and seemed to be dancing above their heads, but it didn't burn them or touch them. How do you think that felt? I think if I was one of the disciples, I would have felt a bit panicked and wondered what was going on and a bit scared too. This wind and this fire had appeared with no warning at all. And they were already afraid because they were hiding from the Jews. So when the Holy Spirit came, it made a great difference in their lives. It gave them courage. Instead of hiding away, they wanted to rush out into the streets to tell everybody about the good news of Jesus. They were even talking in different languages and didn't realize it. The Holy Spirit had given them great faith and great courage to share that faith with others which is what we are called to do today. So, just as Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with the disciples, Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit when we're baptised and then, when again, when we are confirmed. And all through our lives, the Holy Spirit is with us as our helper and guide in whatever we do and wherever we go. It's such a great comfort and help to us all and gives us all the great courage to go out and share the news of Jesus with others and invite others to get to know Jesus too. The Holy Spirit also helps us to become like Jesus. He gives us gifts of wisdom, knowledge, 
understanding, reverence and respect, courage, wonder and awe and right judgement. These gifts help us to recognise the talents and gifts that Jesus gives us and to use them to be like Jesus and to share his love and good news. So we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come to us today and we're going to share the good news of the Holy Spirit with others as we make something to put on our windows to display to others. So for our activity today, you'll need a piece of card or a piece of paper, some tissue paper if you've got it, some glue, a pen and some scissors. So we're going to make this poster that we can put in our windows and invite the Holy Spirit to come to us and to come to others as they see it. So to start we're going to draw a nice big flame on our piece of paper or piece of card and you can draw your flame any shape you want. I'm going to go for that shape. Then you might need a little bit of help with this but we're going to cut out the inside of the flame. So I'm going to fold my card in half, make a cut down the middle and then carefully go to the edges and cut around my shape. So end up with a hole in the middle of our card instead. that other piece so you can put it to one side. And you can decide which side of your flame is going to be the front and the back and then on whichever side is the back you're going to use some, I've chosen orange and yellow tissue paper, you could use some red as well if you wanted to. You're going to cut your tissue paper to the side of your piece of paper so it fills it. Or if it's not big enough, so it at least covers the hole that you've just cut. And then glue around the outside of your flame. Like so. And stick your piece of tissue paper down. And when you turn it over, you've got your flame colour. And then cut out a similar shaped flame for the yellow piece of tissue paper. As big as you want or as little as you want. And then stick that on top of the orange tissue paper. It doesn't have to be exact because flames are all different shapes and sizes. Stick some glue on that bit. And then we've made our flame and when we hold it up to the window you'll be able to see the light shining through it. And it'll make the different colours shine through into your room. And then we're going to write on some words of an ancient prayer that is one of the first prayers of the church. Come Holy Spirit. And that's inviting the Holy Spirit to come to us and to anybody else who sees our poster. Come Holy Spirit. So we're inviting the Spirit into our lives to help us and to guide us and to share with us all those gifts of wisdom knowledge and understanding and so much more. So you can put your Holy Spirit poster in a window that looks out onto the street or you might want to put it into your room so that you can remember to say each day before you start the day, come Holy Spirit be with me today. So please send us your pictures of your beautiful flames that you're going to make at home and even maybe where you've put them on your windows. It'd be great to see them. You can send them to the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team email or tag us in pictures on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And don't forget to invite the Holy Spirit to come into your lives today and every day. Let's pray. Loving Father, may your Spirit living inside us 
Fill us with love, forgiveness and understanding, helping us to become more like Jesus Christ, your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been great being with you again this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.